Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Nate Great 321 back again, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite beat 'em up games of all time, and that's Battle Toads and Double Dragon. And I really love that intro music. I mean, I really like all the music in this game, uh, it's really phenomenal. And I think I've said that about every game I've reviewed so far, that it has good music, but I mean this game especially, it was really, really well done. I've had this first stage's theme song stuck in my head since I've bought this game. So this game came out in 1993, originally on the NES, then later that year it was ported to the Genesis, Super Nintendo, and the Game Boy. Uh, it was developed by Rare and published by Trade West, and those are the same guys that made the original Battletoads game on the NES uh, a few years earlier. If you've ever played any beat em up game ever, the controls are going to feel really familiar. Just one button attacks and one button jumps, and that's really all you need. But I mean, if we're going to get really nitpicky about the gameplay and the feel of it, it has a lot more in common with Battletoads than Double Dragon, and that makes sense because obviously it's made by the same guys that made Battletoads. And in fact, the guys that made Double Dragon originally really had nothing to do with this game besides, you know, the Double Dragon license. I'm going to be fast forwarding through parts of this review too, just to show you guys some more of the level variety and some of the boss characters too. So why are the Battletoads and Double Dragon guys teaming up and fighting bad guys in space? Honestly, I don't know, and I don't care. If you're looking for an engaging story, you really should look elsewhere, because this game is just a good excuse to mash buttons and have a good time doing it. Yeah, these hand guys really piss me off sometimes. I always like that face they make when a boss shows up. Now you might think this is a cheap way to beat the boss, but trust me, go ahead and try fighting him without using that little charge attack. It's basically next to impossible. I always like how the other guy always just stands there and politely waits for you to kick the first guy's butt before he goes in and attacks you. You 
can see I got a weapon now too, and that's actually the leg off some yellow walker machine. Um, and those were in the original Battle of Toads game too, if you played that. Here's another kind of mini boss character, and he's actually pretty easy. He throws dynamite at you, and all you gotta do is throw it back at him through the door. And after, you know, three or four times, he dies. And I think one of the reasons I really like this game, besides the uh, really fun gameplay, is this is one of the first 16-bit games that I can remember. I remember I was at a friend's house at a sleepover, and he had this game, and I'm not sure if it was for Genesis or Super Nintendo, but I remember being really, really impressed with it. And, you know, I think that might even be before I had a Genesis. And that, so that's, this game might have been one of the reasons why I asked my parents, or I guess Santa Claus, to get me a Genesis. So, I mean, for that reason, this game holds a really special place in my heart. This one's the same thing as before, but I think he takes a few more hits to die. <laughs> Anyone who's ever played the original Battletoads probably just felt their heart skip a beat just seeing these speeder bikes. Because, I mean, that's one of the most infamously hard parts of that first Battletoads game. And, but honestly, this version here is really a lot, a lot, a lot easier. And so maybe Rare got the hint from the first game, people complained or something. But yeah, this one's 10,000 times easier. And as far as the differences between the four versions of this game, I mean, I really can't say. This is the only one I've really played recently. I know I've played the Genesis one, but I don't remember that much detail about it. I would have to assume Game Boy is probably the worst. I mean, that's, you know, hardware limitations, not much you can do there. But between Super Nintendo and Genesis, I mean, I would assume that the graphics and sound on the Super Nintendo version are probably a little bit better. But I mean, that's arguable. Everyone has their preference one way or the other. Um, the NES version, I would assume, looks like the original Battletoads game on the NES and probably plays exactly the same. So I would assume they're all pretty good, so if you find any of them, I would definitely recommend picking it up. As far as the cost for this game goes, um, if you're looking on eBay, or for any of the versions, I guess I would expect to pay at least uh, 18 or 19 bucks, probably more around, you know, mid-20s for the game. Um, it's obviously going to depend which version you're looking for. If you want, like, the Genesis card only, you can probably get that for maybe 10 to 12 bucks. Uh, luckily, I found my copy at my local game store for $8. So, yeah, they have really good prices there. I like them a lot. <laughs> so, I'll show you the boss battle coming up here, and I'll end the review of that. Uh, this has been Battletoads and Double Dragon for the Super Nintendo. I would definitely 100% recommend it to any of you out there. And as always, you know, I really appreciate all your comments. I really love reading through those. Uh, if you want to rate the video, cool. If you want to subscribe, that's awesome too. And also, I just hit 150 subscribers, which is really awesome. I want to thank everyone that's been here since the beginning and all the people that just joined right now. So, yeah, this is Negra321, signing out.